Today we're talking about sword of blasting heads. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage and today we're getting into cleaning up heads. I'm getting ready to rebuild these heads, relap the valves, put new springs, uh, upgrade the, roll, the trunnions, all that jazz, but I wanted to clean them up a little bit better before I got into all that. And so I went out to our favorite Harbor Freight and picked up their 40 pound because they didn't have the 15 pound soda blaster. I grabbed the medium grit soda. So you're looking at about $130 for the, the blaster itself and $50 for a 50 pound bag. The hardest thing is just getting this thing loaded. Other than that, putting it together is not bad at all. You can figure it out. And let's take a look at kind of the job that's done. You can tell right away which head that I've attacked and which one I haven't. And this one probably could still use some cleaning up in here, but I, you know, honestly, mainly where it works the best is where you have oily or burnt on substances. The outside of the head, these heads have some road salt grime because they're Pennsylvania heads and it's just, it doesn't do anything on that stuff. I mean, it makes it nice and shiny or shinier. And that's why we use soda as opposed to glass bead or iron oxide. Use that stuff on aluminum, it's gonna turn it gray because it'll actually beat the surface down. Soda won't. Uh, I'm not sure about walnut shell. Walnut shell may be a little bit more aggressive, but the other bonus to soda, baking soda allows you to wash the part and you don't have to worry about little bits of pieces getting stuck in places that you can't get to. So whenever you're finished, cleanup's a lot easier and you don't have to worry about sucking a piece of walnut through your oil system, etc. But right away you can kind of tell, if you really want to tell, look at this, boom. That's the difference between the two. And I'll put some video of me cleaning a couple of these uh, combustion chambers out on the head but for the most part, man, I, I didn't spend more than 10 minutes on these. That's why you can still see there's some grime and stuff down there. I'll try and knock that out while we still have some sunshine. But this is what they started off looking like. And so it did a good job of getting the gasket material off about everywhere. There's some remnants there, but it, it won't catch your fingernail. So I'm probably not even gonna worry about that. Not gonna be a boosted application. Uh, but it really cleaned everything up nice. Maybe if I hit the, the valve seats a little bit better because it's really smooth over here, but it's got some buildup there, it might clean up that buildup some, but I'm not too worried about hitting those too hard. As I said, I'm gonna lap the valves in before I reassemble this thing and get it cleaned up so that we've got good valve sealing. But overall, I would say for 160 bucks, it's probably worth it. Anything like this riding on the side, that's going to come right off. That'll come right off. But this stuff is chemically changed in the metal itself. You might be able to polish that out, but I'm not that hardcore, I don't think. I was really hoping that some of that would lift, but as I said, it's just salt from the roads up here has gotten up there. And even though it's aluminum as opposed to iron, it's still causing pitting on it and just kind of tore the metal up. You can see maybe it's a little bit better over here. It's a little bit smoother where I've kind of done some blasting as opposed to here, but that's also facing different sides. Let's look at this side. Yeah, no, overall maybe it's a little better. At least it looks a little better. Gets the discoloration out of it, stuff like that. So let me know if you've used this technique or if you've used something else that's worked better for you, I'd be interested to hear. Uh, normally, I don't care enough to go this far into it, but I figured I got these things stripped down this far. Uh, you know, I'll probably do some porting on the intakes. I don't know if I'll do it on the exhaust. We're not going boosted. We're not going high horsepower on this LS build. So honestly, there's probably not a lot of reason to do that anyways, but I did want to clean it up, make it a little, look a little bit better. So. Give me your feedback down in the comments. I'm gonna get back to it. You guys know the drill. Thanks for stopping by the garage. Remember, ABT, always be tuning.